This is a short uh, demo of a Nordman Model 3004. It's been refurbishing this for a friend. Uh, the cabinet was actually in quite good condition. This is the uh, veneered cabinet. They also did a, a sort of a laminate cabinet. Um, but this, this veneer looks looks quite nice. There's actually no scratches or uh, other blemishes on it. I gave it a couple of coats of Howard's today and uh, polished it and it looks pretty good. Um, the actual chassis is in pretty good condition too. Uh, front panel's in nice shape. And um, the back uh, panel is missing, which is a little bit unfortunate. Um, but uh, there's the view of the chassis inside the, uh, ch inside the cabinet. Um, Give it a go on FM, it's just got its own internal dipole antenna on it and uh, it's working pretty well on the on the little dipole. Just give it a minute to warm up and we'll go. There's absolutely loads of stations at this location on, uh, on the VHF bands. <laughs> Change right. to improve our relationship. Proud of you. All the controls are working really so, well. Actually loads of, loads of volume just on a couple of little mm -hmm. little um, realistic speakers like up there on the, mm -hmm. on the back of the workbench. You just got to ignore the phone call. Travel control. <laughs> bass control. Don't worry, uh, automatic don't worry. stereo or mono. Um, <laughs> bass boost. <laughs> speech boost. Um, presence control, brilliant sound and treble control. I'm not really sure what this FM Automatic AM sound does. <laughs> um, but this is the export model, which hasn't got the long wave band. It's got a second short wave band instead. So I had a little bit of problems uh, aligning it. It was quite a far out of alignment. I had to figure out how to align it. But that's useful. I'll, uh, I'll write that up so other people can, uh, can find out how to do it. The only instructions I found for this are the uh, in German and for uh, for the European and domestic market model, which has the long wave band instead. Also, the um, the FM coverage is a little bit different. It goes down to a low frequency on the uh, on the FM band. Try the broadcast band. Uh, it's on its on the external antenna. It's got a little loop antenna on it at the moment. But in reality, it's a medical necessity. It is on. And lots of nice stations. Experience the rich tapestry of Newfoundland's culture. Anyway, it's, uh, there's not a lot on the lower end of the broadcast band here. And it's very native to a lot of. Uh, The tuning indicators are working okay. At least the uh, the main indicator is working. Uh, the FM indicator um, is certainly getting the voltage it needs when there's a stereo signal there, but the uh, I think the, the tuning eye is a little bit weak. Shortwave bands. Oh, that's the internal ferrite antenna. So it's now switched off the external Don't antenna. Leave the it's working on its in, internal um, ferrite rod, which. You can turn the little indicator here. You see the signal changing strength as I rotate there. And a cool feature. And the shortwave bands, of course, the uh, ferret doesn't work, uh, so it's now got the external antenna on it again. Um, there's not a lot on the on the lower shortwave bands. Mid afternoon, springtime. Just give a short little loop so. In the evenings, we'll probably get um, WWV coming at 5 megs, but uh, there's nothing at the moment. Um, 
Well, the upper shortwave bands would probably be able to get WWV set. Yeah, that's WWV. Fifteen or twenty. I was picking up early today, but it's not too strong at the moment, late afternoon. Okay, so um, the alignment went pretty well, apart from the uh, the shortwave bands. You haven't really got all the adjustments. You really need to get them accurate. You, so for example, on the shortwave two band, all you can do is set the local oscillator at eight megahertz with a coil, and there's no uh, trimmer for the upper end of the band. Uh, but there is a there is a an RF coil and an RF trimmer to uh, to peak the signal, but you can't actually get the uh, the band to align really well, which is a shame. WWV. So working really well. Nordmann Model 3004 from about 1965.